Hi, this is Tony Daly, and I just wanted to show you a, a neat little setup on uh, on Verizon, and uh, show you how technical analysis, the power of technical analysis, and support and resistance. Looking at a weekly chart going back on for uh, about two years, notice the uptrend on Verizon, but here I have drawn the 20 exponential moving average, and I have the 50 and 200 simple moving averages, which are highly regarded and highly watched by the institutions and individual traders. And what I see is, is I notice that as the stock, the ebb and flow of the stock and, and the motion of the price action, you notice that the 20 and 50 hold service support going all the way back. Notice how over here, the 50 period held, we came back again, we held, bounce off the 50, bounce off the 20. Here we had a reversal. And what you're looking at is a price rejection at this point right here. Here's a topping tail. So we've had a pretty wide, a pretty wide range this day, but we had a price rejection to the upside, finished in about the middle of the range, and then we had a reversal down. In this particular case, it attempted, it did hold for a while, but then we started going sideways. Uh, after that, we ran up, and then we had another top and then it has been consolidating and dropping ever since. What I like to do is I like to draw horizontal points at major pivots. And you can see here that I use these four support and resistance targets along with the moving averages and then also price channels. I use my MACD as a momentum indicator and we can see my, the momentum is accelerating to the downside. I use stochastics as an oscillator indicating overbought and oversold. Dropping down to a daily chart, we can see these were the horizontal support and resistance lines that were drawn at the major pivots. Now you can add additional daily pivots also and that's sometimes not a bad idea to do. And we can do that right here, here's a pivot. And so basically, and we use these as points of reference. So we can see we went into a phase of just chop here, okay? And the, notice how the moving averages intertwined. So basically there was no trade. This is not a trade zone for me. Um, once we had the separation and we had a breakdown below the support and resistance, the next thing I looked at was the all important 200 period moving average. When a stock breaks below the 200 period moving average, for me that is a total sell. I don't want to be long any stock that's trading below the 200 period moving average. And as a, as a rule, I usually don't like to initiate positions below the 200 period moving average because I know that the 200 period moving average is gonna act as resistance on the way up uh, a lot of people have their stops up here, and um, it becomes significant to me if it breaks through because then all the shorts will have to cover. And then you could see an acceleration to the upside. So it's just for me right now, this is a, this is a, um, a hold and a watch. Uh, we had another gap down. Gaps love to fill, so I will be looking over the next few days to see this gap fill. Moving down to the one hour time frame, which gives you a little bit more detail. Uh, here we have our opening range, and right now Verizon is trading within this opening range right here. Momentum and every the other indicators are pointing down. The moving averages are pointing down. Uh, you can see this gap has all in effect filled. Now I'll be looking to see over the next few days if this gap in fact fills. We might have short, a short-term bounce but I would still not get any conviction on this stock until I see a test, retest of the 200 moving average, which I'm sure it will because they usually do at that point. But what happens from there, uh, we'll just have to see. So anyway, uh, from a technical standpoint, this was, um, this, this stock is a, an excellent uh, teaching or reinforcing tool uh, to use. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.